Choosing the right business name when you're starting out can be challenging. A popular choice for local business owners is a combination of their personal name and their profession, like this hair salon run by Claire Ashton or this shoe repair shop run by James. Their decision is obviously reflected in the domain name they have decided to use for their website as one is called hairbyclaireashton.co.uk and the other one is called jamesshoecare.co.uk. But is this the right strategy? Maybe not. If you're just starting out and have yet to decide what you're going to call your business, stay tuned as I am going to show you the process I go through with my clients to help them choose the right domain name for their business so they can maximize their chances of being found in Google local search results and drive visitors to their website as quickly as possible. Hi there, if we're just meeting, my name is Luke Durand, the founder of rankingacademy.co.uk where I talk about the best tools, tips, and ways to help you promote your local business online step-by-step step and click-by-click. Click. On this channel, I cover everything any local business owner needs to know from search engine optimization to social media. My goal is to help you thrive online so you can drive more visitors to your business and ultimately make more money. So if you're new here, consider subscribing and clicking on the bell button so you don't miss any of my new videos. Finally, don't forget to check out the description below, which is where I put additional notes and links I refer to in this tutorial. If you're ready, let's jump right in. Did you know that two of the most critical factors that will dramatically influence your rankings in Google Maps are related to your business name or what is known as your business title in Google My Business? How do I know? If you've been watching some of my previous videos, you may have noticed I refer to the local search ranking factor survey quite a bit which is conducted every year by highly regarded local SEO professionals and shows you what the most important signals are if you want to rank high in Google local search results. According to the survey, if your business title includes keywords related to your product or services and your location, you have a much better chance to rank higher in the Google local map pack. Look at this example when I search for Emergency Electrician London. The top three results all include keywords related to the service provided, either electrician or emergency electrician, as well as the location, in this instance, London. There is nothing wrong with that, but according to Google, your business name should reflect your business real world name. This is what the guideline says. If you were creating a listing for a 24-hour coffee shop in downtown San Francisco called Shelley's Coffee, you would enter that business information as business name Shelley's Coffee. In this example, it would be tempting to create a Google listing and call this business 24 hours Shelley's Coffee Shop San Francisco instead, as it would include additional keywords like coffee shop, 24 hours and San Francisco. But the Google policy is very clear on this topic. Including unnecessary information in your business name is not permitted and could result in your listing being suspended. Sadly, a lot of businesses purposely ignore the Google policy and choose to stuff their business name in their Google listing with additional keywords so they can rank in the Google Map Pack. If I search for Bell Bonds Orlando, for example, I get three results that all include the keywords Bell Bonds and Orlando in their business titles. But if I dig a little deeper and check what the name of these businesses are in the real world by opening their websites, it is clear they are violating Google's policy. The first business is actually called All Star Bell Bond. So they have added their location, Orlando, as part of their title. The second one is called 33rd Street Bell Bond. So they have also added their location, Orlando, in their title. While the third business went one step further as their real name is bell to go but they have added Orlando and Orange County Bell Bond in their title. According to this article from Jo Youngblood, who conducted a study on this topic, adding keywords in the name of a business can help that location improve by almost 10 ranking positions in Google. This is huge, and although it is against Google's guidelines, many business owners, like these bell bond companies, choose to spam their Google listing business's name with keywords as it will propel them into the top three positions of Google Maps and generate a lot of traffic to their site. You can choose to use this tactic if you want, but beware as there is a risk. 
If you decide to spam your business title, Google may suspend your business listing. There are two types of suspension. A soft suspension. You will no longer be able to manage your listing in Google My Business. However, your business will remain listed in Google Maps and your rankings will be unchanged. A hard suspension. Your business listing is permanently removed from Google Maps, including all your customer reviews. So what should you do when starting out if you want to stick to Google's guidelines, have the opportunity to include the right keywords in your business name, and avoid any suspension in the future? Simply call your business something meaningful that will include both your primary service and the location as part of the name. This way, your business name in Google My Business Profile will automatically include the keywords you are targeting and will be a true representation of your name in the real world. Let's say I want to start a carpet cleaning business located in London. The obvious business name should be carpetcleaninglondon.co.uk, right? Unfortunately, there is a high probability that someone has already taken the name you are after. And as you can see, it is taken. No problem. Instead of searching frantically for something suitable, just go to lindomainsearch.com. In the search box, add the primary service keyword or product you are offering and the location in which your business will be operating. Let's use our Carpet Cleaning London example and click on search. Within seconds, you should see a long list of options you can use to call your business. Pick the one you prefer and register the domain name. Carpet Cleaning London Center sounds like a perfectly valid option to me and I assume it would do very well in Google local search results and will have no risk of being suspended anytime soon. That's it for today guys, hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, as always, post them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. If you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to do so and until next time, happy marketing.